Brings up Alex Wise. And Wise, the right-hander. Facing the right-hand, Cuspeth. Cuspeth comes inside, gets the inside corner for a strike. One one. And that gets away from the catcher. Here's the pitch. And that one got away from him again, so. Two and one now, the count. Gusmith this year, is this is his seventh appearance, his second start, five games out of the bullpen. He has a one and zero record with a 4.76 earn run average. And hits it right back to Metzger. Metzger's gonna throw him out to Carter. So ball hits sharply, but Metzger playing in position perfectly. That was a rocket. Number one. Steel Walker. Steel Walker, the guy with the man with the best name on the field right now. Gusmith has eight walks in 11 and a third innings coming into this game. So again, control can be a little bit of an issue with him as well. Nine strikeouts. So about seven earned, uh, seven runs, six earned in 11 and a third innings coming in. And he drives that one sharply to the gap. Will Sealman not get it? It's gonna go all the way to the fence. And he's going to end up with a stand-up double. So Steel Walker doubles to right center here in the top of the second. Designated hitter, number 44, Austin O'Brien. One thing Oklahoma has shown in the series, if you leave the ball up in the strikes, then they're going to hit the ball hard some way. Right. Sealman had no chance to run that down. And Robo's in right field was, was kind of more straight away, and that was a straight split the outfielder situation. And here is the first pitch of this at bat. Cuspeth catches the corner on the outside. Austin O'Brien, the batter, the DH today, six foot three, 200 pound junior out of Austin. Wano, Oklahoma. And that gets away from him. And that's going to advance Mr. Walker. Pass ball. Yeah, that's real a pass ball. The ball was off the plate outside, but it was very catchable for Ortega. Pass ball is the right call there. That does advance the potential tying run into third base. Only one out here, so uh, O'Brien with a 1-1 count will be looking to try to tie this thing up. That's the fourth pass ball on Ortega this season. Here comes the pitch. High. Two and one now the count, one out, man on third. Fans keep coming in. Yeah, Gus but likes pitching. He did, we earlier in the year I was talking to him and he really enjoys the challenge of pitching. Hadn't done a lot of it at the college level before this year. Pitch down low again, three and one. So man on third, Cuspeth behind in this count to O'Brien. Cuspeth, one of the uh, Lancaster connections uh, of the Antelope Valley. I went to Desert Christian High School. Here's the pitch. And swing and a miss. So challenged him up high that time. Got him a swing. They've had several players come out of Desert Christian High School playing here. Uh, Tyra Shryock, who is now playing professionally. His, Tyra's father is the head coach out there. And okay. several of the, uh, I think they've had three or four players out of that school come over to Cal State. And another foul ball. <laughs> 
Here's the pitch. And through past second baseman, and it's going to score Walker. And into right field goes for an RBI for O'Brien. So O'Brien, good at bat, better result. One that all here. Well, the pass ball helps set that up. Number five. That they did advance the runner the extra 90 feet and. Uh, Tied ball game. Kyle Mendenhall, the number eight hitter in the order for the Sooners. He's a sophomore infielder out of Carlsbad, both near, not that far away from us. I'm sure he has family here. Ended the game last night as a pinch runner and then stayed in the game, played the last inning or so defensively at second base. Inside. Mendon Hall with a 1-0 count. Coming down with Cutsbeth here in the top of the second. Man on. Game tied, one all. Goes back to first. He's one of three Californians on this Sooners team. All from Southern California. All right. 2-0 now to count for Mendenhall. Mendenhall hit a home run this year on February 27th against Sam Houston State. Last year he had 26 starts and out of the 44 games he played. This is his 13th start this season. All high. 3-0 now. And Gus Pitts, again, this is a little bit of a bugaboo. He does uh, have nearly one walk per every inning he throws. Here comes the 3-0 pitch. You gonna have him swing? Not 3-0, not so low in the order. Yep, there you go, and he put him on. Wasn't close anyway. High and away, high and inside there. Sure. So it brings up Dorenzo uh, now. Dominic Dorenzo. Dominic Dorenzo homer last night. Having a chat there with the head coach, who is also the third base coach, Pete Hughes, with one out here, and then the top of the order coming up after. They ask him to bunt him over. I don't know if they would give up an out with already one out in the inning. I think if there's nobody out, I right. think it'd be a, a no, no question bunting situation. And we saw the show last night. He's got some pop. Yeah, he does. Especially in the nine hole. Two on, one out. Dorenzo up bat. In there for a strike. Good pitch, curveball there. Of course, the uh, being the catcher, I believe he had a stolen base last night, but um, yes, he did. And uh, But you know, typically you're not as fast. So again, the middle infielders are back in double play position, hoping the ground ball there can get Gus out of the inning without any more damage. Here comes the pitch. Right down the middle, and that's going to be punched down the line. That will score at least one run. A little trouble tracking it down, and two runs will score. And... Then Renzo ends up with a triple. Very good piece of hitting there. Absolutely. Renzo, Renzo low outside pitch. He just didn't, didn't do, try to do too much with it. Just, you know, just made solid contact. Hit the ball, landed about a foot fair, rolled into the right field corner. Robe was playing straight away right by the time he could get over there. Um, good speed on the bases, and they easily scored the two runs. That gives the Sooners a three-run inning and a three-to-one lead here in the second inning. Lorenzo's had a good series. Yeah, That's, absolutely. Uh, had the home run last night, now he's got a two-run triple. Use the park to its advantage, down the 327 into the corner. Sergio Robles had trouble tracking that down. It's his second triple of the year. Of course, now you got to wade through the top of the order. Harris, who's been wearing the ball out in this series, had a base hit his first time up and yep, a stolen base. base. right. Stranded in that first inning. Here we go with the pitch. And low and away. 
three and zero now. Cuspit, boy, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this inning. Yeah, he has, and um, he's been really fighting his control. He's been behind hitters throughout the inning. Six at bat, six man to come to at the plate here in the second. And there's still only one out, runner on third. And that's going to put him on, so. Four pitch walk, second walk of the inning. And you know, you've got a double header here, so you don't want to uh, go into your bullpen too early. Here comes pitching coach for CSUB. That's Jeremy Beard, the first year pitching coach. Might recall when Bill Kernan was a head coach here, he actually was also his pitching coach. Uh, um, with Kernan's retirement at the end of last season, the uh, Roadrunners elevated Bob Macaluso, who was the assistant last year, into the head coaching job and then uh, brought in a new pitching coach, Jeremy Beard. Real personal fella. Umpire goes out there to break up the meeting. Hunter Haley now, the <coughs> right fielder. I'm sorry, left fielder in this game today. Haley flied to center in his first at bat. No wind, this, at least to this point, just a very slight breeze, barely moving the flag out there in right center field. 3 1 OU here in the second. One out, rid of the corners. Ryan Grochon is, even with the bag at third, maybe slightly a step in. Again, the middle infielders, Metzger at second and Jones at short, are looking for the double play ground ball. And then Carter holding on the runner at first. And hits it to straight up into the short center. That's going to fall for an RBI single. Just a little yep. jam job there. and. Uh, Again, you got to respect Haley's power, and uh, Seelman back playing de deep center field had no chance to get in and run that one down. Jones made a good effort to go out, but that ball, just a little Texas leaguer, as they would call it. That has another run, and that puts the Sooners ahead four to one in the four, four run inning to this point. And again, still only one out with Sheldon Noisy, the shortstop and number three hitter, and Team RBI leader now coming up with runners on first and second. And Noisy has been clutch all series long. Here's the pitch. Strike. Four one here. It's a four run inning last night that Oklahoma used to turn the game around. That was later. <coughs> and fouls it away. Noisy fight to right his last time at bat. Two for five last night with a double and a single and a run scored. 0 for four on Thursday. Did have a run, run score or RBI that game. Fouls it away. Good, oh, two. Good pitch by Gusbeth uh, there. He had a had noisy a little bit off balance on that swing. Well, if Gusbeth can get this out, that helped things a lot because noisy has been a problem for the Red Runners all series long. Two pitch coming up here. Cuspeth, right handed pitch, pitcher. Got a lot of work in this inning. Give him four runs. OU leads four to one. Here's the pitch. And in there, just misses. A little high. Good pitch. Don't play, don't play. There's Joe Maiden. Same crew been here all, all the whole series. Yeah, the WAC provides umpires for all Bakersfield home games. <laughs> and 
There we go, the pitch. And misses on that one. Now he's got noisy at two and two with a count. He's kind of shown his whole repertoire in this at bat. Sometimes the hitters will get get a little bit of idea what the other guy has right. and uh, makes it a little bit more dangerous. Augustus and Ortega a little bit uh, having a hard time getting together on their signs here. Long time. Yeah, Gusbeth is uh, concerned about the runner at second here, Cade Harris. It's been about a three minute long at bat. He's got to have to throw it home sooner or later. And yeah, back to second. Remind me of the old story. Jimmy Fox was hitting against Lefty Gomez, and Gomez just held the ball. Finally, the catcher goes out and says, what's going on? He goes, well, maybe we'll get a long-distance phone call. <laughs> Good. Strike three. Got him. Good pitch there. First baseman, number 42. So a bit of good Got news for Cuspeth, but Flansburg coming up next. Grounded out to short in his first at bat in the first inning. Ninth man to bat in the order. The Sooners have hit batted around. Four runs in already and a four to one you know, sooner lead here in the second. It's a long inning. Over 16 minutes of action here so far. The pitch. Outside corner for a strike on that one. Good location. Pitching away in the dirt. He's at the count of one all. Probably about half the crowd that we had here last night is here to this point, although it is early. It's a long baseball day today. In the dirt again. First game of a doubleheader today. A lot of people wearing shorts and T-shirts out here. A lot of umbrellas to knock the sun down. Another pitch in the dirt. Gusbeth, who has already walked two in the inning, is now behind Flansburg, the cleanup batter. Three balls and a strike. Looking at the head coach down the third base line, gives the signs. I think he's just going to be sitting dead red here, looking for something to drive. Uh, fouled off his foot. That makes a full count. Three and two. Here, two out now. The runner, Kate Harris at second, and Hunter Haley at first will be running on the pitch. Any kind of a base hit to the outfield easily will score one run. Anything between the outfielders or into the corner will probably score two. Of course, Guthbeth's looking just to get the out here and get out of the inning and get back to the dugout. Sooners have already scored four times here in the top of the second, have a four to one lead over Cal State Bakersfield. Jones trying to keep Harris close to second, but uh, three, two pitch on the way. Here's the pitch and hits it high into center field and Seelman is there, makes the catch and that ends the inning. Well, they batted through. All ambulance service in 